Is this the fastest ground transportation system? Good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here, and of course, this is Arthur, and welcome back again to our channel. In this video, let's talk about the new form of ground transport currently in development by a number of companies. So, this video is all about the newest ultra-high-speed ground transportation system known as the Hyperloop. So, without wasting any more of your time, let's get right to our video. Number one is all about building the Hyperloop. More and more people are moving to Texas and commute times are getting worse and worse. In Houston, they spend nearly an hour in their cars every day. So what does the future of transportation look like? Perhaps it'll be a hyperloop. The ends of the loop are sealed off. The pod is levitated off the ground and sent racing down the track. With a 3D printer, the RISE team has already created two small-scale mock-ups. Number two is Northeast Ohio set to lead Hyperloop transportation industry. Hyperloop is a system that moves people and goods at unprecedented speeds safely, efficiently, and sustainably. Passenger and cargo capsules were hovered through a network of low-pressure tubes between cities. Not only does Hyperloop transportation technologies say it's safe, but also affordable at the price closer to a bus ticket than a flight. Number 3 is engineers develop new high-speed form of travel. The science behind Hyperloop will allow humans to go faster than the fastest high-speed train, even faster than some of the fastest planes in the sky. The tubes create a low-pressure environment that almost completely cuts out drag. Another key feature of this new form of travel is the motor, which will allow Hyperloop to completely change the way we travel. Picture a straightened out version of a conventional rotary motor. Number 4 is, is this the future of transportation in New York City? New Yorkers are well accustomed to the easy access to urban transit that takes them to major cities along the northeast seaboard. Entrepreneur Elon Musk has proposed a Hyperloop transit system that would completely change travel as we know it. 
connecting travelers to New York City, Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Washington, D.C. is only a fraction of the current travel time. Number 5 is Hyperloop One Roadshow, rolled into St. Louis. It's being touted as the first new mode of transportation in 100 years. Hyperloop One looks like something out of a Star Wars movie. However, designers and engineers say the high-tech, super-fast vehicle will one day take people from St. Louis to Kansas City at lightning speed. Virgin Hyperloop One is currently crisscrossing the country, taking the huge test model to St. Louis and other cities. Number 6 is North Texas could play a role in developing Hyperloop. Before it can become a reality, Virgin's Hyperloop 1 must be certified by the federal government. And North Texas is competing with other regions across the country for a test track for Virgin's project. Number 7 is Study Maps Hyperloop Route from Chicago to Cleveland. Hyperloop Transportation Technologies has announced plans to add Pittsburgh to its Great Lakes Hyperloop model, which remains under study. The ground-level transportation system will use low-pressure tubes to transport passengers from Cleveland to Chicago in 30 minutes and from Cleveland to Pittsburgh in 9 minutes. Number 8 is Virgin Hyperloop 1 would bring test pod to American Royal. Virgin Hyperloop One is sending their test pod on a tour of cities and Kansas City is among the stops. The company said the test pod XP1 will stop at the American Royal World Series of Barbecue in Kansas City, Kansas at the Kansas Speedway. The test pod will available to check out starting at 11 a.m during the barbecue competition. Number 9 is Hyperloop could come to North Texas sooner than expected.
Virgin's Hyperloop One is eyeing North Texas as a site for a certification facility, according to the Regional Transportation Council. The electromagnetic tube technology, which boasts speeds of 670 miles an hour, would take passengers from DFW to Laredo in about 45 minutes. Trips from North Texas to Austin would take about 17 minutes, and it would take about 25 minutes from North Texas to San Antonio. So, I hope you found this video wonderful, and if you did, be sure to give us like, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar, and this is Arthur. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching, and see you on the next video.